Welcome to Villa Vans. We're super excited to share our latest build with you all. Its design is inspired by raw textures, earthy hues, and natural materials. If you're interested in purchasing this van, click the link in the description below. This tiny home is built inside a brand new 2022 144-inch Mercedes Sprinter van. It has a full kitchen, hidden shower, and a seating area that converts into a bed. Let's take a look inside. At the front of this tiny home is the divider wall. It features an arched pocket door and decorative wood slats with gold hooks for some character and functionality. This wall offers security, temperature regulation, and noise reduction. At night, it blocks 100% of light from inside the van for additional privacy. Located conveniently as you enter the van are four dimmable touch lighting options. The main ceiling lighting that runs the length of the van, under cabinet lighting in the kitchen, in the back seating and sleeping area, and floor lighting under the toe kicks. We love how warm and inviting this kitchen makes the space feel. It features a stainless steel sink with a brushed gold faucet that pulls out for maximum coverage. There are two cabinet doors under the sink, four drawers for lots and lots of storage, and two upper cabinets for additional storage. This easy to store Coleman portable cooktop fits perfectly on the counter and hooks up to the 20 pound propane tank located in the back of the van. Or you can take it outside and connect it to a small one pound propane bottle. When cooking inside, make sure to turn on the max air fan and open the back bunk windows for proper ventilation. When you're done cooking, the propane line retracts and gets stored in the countertop for easy access. This wooden floating shelf is perfect for holding your spices or decorative items. And these ceramic tiles have great texture, giving it that timeless handmade look. Next to the kitchen is this floor to ceiling unit that features a drawer at the bottom. In the middle cabinet is a stainless steel 12 volt 3.3 cubic feet refrigerator and freezer. The top cabinet can be used as a pantry and houses the control center, including a touchscreen for battery and water levels and a switch panel for on and off control of your propane, fridge, and gray water. Here we have the hidden bathroom with pop-up shower. Inside, you'll find the Cuddy composting toilet. When it's time to rinse off, remove the toilet, grab the shower curtain system, and hang each of the four corners on the hooks in the ceiling. A handheld shower head provides versatility and control that you just don't get from fixed shower heads. Under one of the benches is a 20 gallon fresh water tank that fits over and alongside the wheel well. It's hooked up to the sink and the shower and drains into another 20 gallon gray water tank mounted underneath the vehicle. In the back is a U-shaped seating area with a step up and extra long drawer. Lifting up the first bench reveals storage space with a removable shelf that conceals the electrical. There's also a 370 watt solar panel mounted on top of the vehicle. Inside the other bench is additional storage. And just when you thought this tiny home couldn't have any more storage, there are two large upper cabinets on either side of the van. This swivel tabletop is super functional for a tiny space. Making your bed has never been easier. To go from seating to sleeping, break down the table mount, remove the middle cushion, pull out the bed slats, which have a 500 pound load capacity on either side, and place the back cushions in the center. This bed is 54 inches wide, 68 inches long, and comfortably sleeps too. Accessible from the rear of the vehicle is what we like to call the garage. It has three compartments. On the left is access to the fresh water tank fill port. The middle is a sealed locker, which houses the water heater and propane tank that slides out for a hassle-free replacement. And to the right, there's some storage, as well as the inverter and AC circuit breakers. Thanks for watching and supporting our journey. If you enjoyed this tour, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We hope to see you on the road.